Were you in love with Travis? Um, I think that being in love and, and loving someone are two different things. And there was a point in time where we were in love, but it was short-lived. Why did you guys break up? Um, there was sort of a breach of trust in our relationship. When you were partnered? Both. Did you guys come Um, no, not. We really couldn't move past it. As I look at uh, defendant Jody Arias, who's accused of a horrific murder, I think Chase of the case, the Anthony case, uh, Dwayne case, criminal defense attorney out of, of Phoenix, Arizona. And you have a pretty, very pretty, articulate, seemingly ladylike uh, female defendant who is accused of unimaginable crimes. Yeah, you do. You know, Jane, Jody Arias is the poster child for why you don't let your client go on TV. Especially you don't let your client go on TV unsupervised because her own statements are going to be used against her throughout this whole thing. But, you know, she's not without some defenses in this case. Like what? Well, number one, it, the photographs, you mentioned that she's a photographer. Well, there's two sets of photographs that were recovered from the camera. One set is of her and, and, uh, and Travis Alexander having sex and being naked, and, and those are all good pictures. The two pictures of the body... Uh, and, and, it, and it's not proven that it's Travis Alexander. I mean, they're pretty sure it is, but those are bad pictures. And she's a professional photographer, and, and would a professional, professional photographer take bad pictures? Well, That's hypothetically, if you were shaking because you had just allegedly committed a murder, you might not be able to do the focus so well. I, want, I, I think you make an interesting point, though. We don't want to convict her. She's going to face her day in court. Uh, she has a presumption of innocence in court. And, and here as well, if her attorney wants to come on and talk to us, I'd love to talk to him. But I want to go back to Taylor Searle. You're a close friend of the victim, Travis Alexander. What about you creep this out? You, you've said that from the moment you met Jody, you got a bad vibe. Tell us about that. Well, just the first time I met her, it was at a social gathering at Travis's house. And uh, I just got uh, kind of a bad vibe from her because she kind of staked a claim over Travis even though there was lots of friends there, and it was the first time a lot of us had met her, and she kind of established herself as uh, Travis's girlfriend, and he was hers, and welcome uh, to their event. And it just kind of put me off that uh, she was super possessive of him, and uh, just from then, I kind of didn't get the best feeling from her and how she acted towards Travis. So you think she might have some psychological issues? Is it yes or no? Well, I mean, a very, very interesting element of this is as soon as the word spread around amongst all the friends that he was murdered just the next day his Facebook profile was barraged with pictures of them two that she posted just uh, I mean who murders somebody and then wants to jump in the limelight and kind of capture that space as his girlfriend by putting uh, tons of pictures up of them together and just trying to get out as being the most grievous person and uh, I mean who, who does that yeah, and again, she's accused, but uh, this is a fascinating case because what makes this woman tick? What is she thinking to be so cheerful and so happy um, as she faces these very, very serious charges and is accused of doing something unimaginable? And did she have the strength to do it? Uh, Travis Alexander was a big, burly guy. So on the other side of the break, we have a couple more thoughts. So stay right there because this trial, we are all over it.